Hey everyone, Deal here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I have a pretty exciting video to talk to you about today and it's our certification with Tesla Energy. We are now certified to install Tesla Powerwall 2 units and Powerwall Plus units. Um, I'm really excited for this certification because it, it broadens our knowledge and expertise into greater fields. I know I've had a lot of customers that have been interested in the Powerwall and it just hasn't been a system that we've been able to offer. But now Tesla has opened up the reseller market again and we were able to get onboarded and get certified certified. So we now have the Powerwall 2 units, which are great for those of you that have an existing solar system and would like to add battery backup. And we also have the Powerwall Plus, which is great for those of you that haven't gone solar yet. You should go solar because you're paying a ridiculous amount for electricity and it's only going to get more ridiculous as time goes on. So you might as well lock in lower electricity costs by investing in a system today. And we can give you a quote for an Enphase system, a Tesla Powerwall Plus system, and the Canadian Solar EP Cube system. I will be doing a comparison video against the EP Cube and the Enphase system for the Tesla Powerwall Plus and the Powerwall 2. And the big difference between the Powerwall Plus and the Powerwall 2 really has to do with the Tesla solar inverter that's on top of a Tesla Powerwall 2 unit. There's a misconception that it's DC coupled. I've gone through the training. It's not DC coupled. It's AC coupled. And that's indicated in the round trip efficiency. So if you look at the Powerwall Plus spec sheet, then you can see the round trip efficiency is 90%, which is an indicator with something that low that it's actually AC coupled. This is in line with what Enphase offers for their system, which is around 89%. Products like the Canadian Solar EP Cube that are DC coupled actually have a round trip efficiency of much higher. They're closer to 94, 95%. So that's pretty much the threshold. I don't think you're gonna see anything higher for round trip efficiency with a DC to DC solution. But 90% is still really good. That's better than some of the other products on the market. I remember Zonin batteries several years back had 85% round trip efficiency and Enphase was obviously higher than them. And Tesla is a little bit higher than Enphase, though I don't think 1% is gonna make a big difference long-term for you in terms of efficiency. But let's talk about the Powerwall Plus and some of its key features that I think are cool um, with it and why we want to offer it to you when you're considering solar. So our proposals you can you can request an Enphase, Powerwall Plus, and EP Cube comparison. So that way within our online quote, you can actually change between all three options and see the different pricing and get a good feel on which package is best for your situation and which one's going to give you the best savings. Because at the end of the day, that's the biggest reason why so many of us have gone solar here in California is because of the savings. But there is an underlining reason too. It's really good for the environment. With that aside, the Powerwall Plus unit, when it's on grid, has 7.6 kilowatts of continuous power. Now at at night, when you're on grid power and you're just running off the battery, the battery can provide 5.8 kilowatts of continuous power. What's interesting, which is also an indicator of it being AC coupled, that gets overlooked is that when the grid fails, the power output is actually higher than when it's on grid. So during an off-grid situation, during the day, when you have solar power, so the battery and the inverter are working together, you actually can have up to 9.6 kilowatts of continuous power. That's a good chunk of energy. Most homes during a power outage are using around five to 600 watts, depending on what loads you have. If you have your air conditioner or pool equipment in there, sure, maybe you're using two to 3,000 watts, but most homes average somewhere around five to 600 watts. Now in the evenings when there is no solar production, you're just gonna run off the battery, but Tesla's bumped up that power output on the battery, so you're getting seven kilowatts of continuous power during the evenings. That's still a lot of energy available. You could potentially run an air conditioner and that leads us to the next. So during the day, your surge capability is really high. You can have 22 kVA surge with the solar inverter and the battery together. Now in the evenings, you only have 10 kVA. 10 kVA with the LRA rating that Tesla has, which is over 100 LRA, should be able to start like a two ton, three ton, maybe even a four ton unit, depending on your model and 
it, you should be able to power that with the solar and the battery as well as just the battery. Now, if you're uncertain, it, it would be safer to install a soft starter on the air conditioner. That helps reduce the LRA. Those are the starting amps for the compressor. So that way the battery would be able to handle it. That might get you to a five ton air conditioning unit, which is pretty impressive. Now, the Tesla Powerwall isn't the only system that has a 22 kVA. In fact, Canadian Solar EP Cube has that as well. So uh, those benefits are valuable during grid power outage situations. During normal grid usage, it's you're, you're, you're only going to see 7.6 kilowatts out of the system, which depending on where you live is going to be 99% of the time less of those power outages. Now, if you're somewhere in Texas or in Florida, those ratings are really valuable for you. And this is also valuable. So for expansion with the Powerwall Plus system, you can have four additional Powerwall 2 units connected to it. And you can have five Powerwalls basically with one Tesla solar inverter. Or you can double up. You can do two Tesla Powerwall Plus units and then each unit has four batteries. That would give you 10 Tesla Powerwall 2s all together, which is the normal rating for the Powerwall 2. So you can have 135 kilowatt hours of stored energy on site. Now, there are some restrictions within the electrical code that you would probably limit you from doing a full 10 pack, but at least you know the system is expandable over time. It's not modular like Enphase or the EP Cube, so you gotta buy a whole battery of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, but at least you can expand on the system and get more power output and storage over time if you need it. And I think that's valuable for a lot of our customers. Price-wise, the Tesla Powerwall Plus comes in at a relatively good price in my opinion, even though it's not hybrid, it's still an AC coupled solution and it's just, it's competitive. I, I can't complain with what Tesla's put together. I, I think it's a good product. I don't think it's the best product, but for those of you that like Tesla, that own a Tesla, you want a fully integrated system with your EV vehicle, the Tesla Powerwall Plus is probably a good solution for you. If you're someone that has multiple roof orientations or you have a lot of shading issues with your project, you may not want the Tesla Powerwall Plus because there's not module level optimization or module level monitoring with that. You might want to consider the Enphase system. That's why we got certified for three different products. And we're actually certified for the Franklin whole home battery as well, but that's just a retrofit. You know, you can put it on new systems, but we really see the value of it for customers that just want to add a battery to their existing site. And that system's LFP, which Tesla is lithium ion. In fact, Tesla is one of the only lithium ion batteries that we offer. Enphase is lithium iron phosphate, LFP. Uh, EP Cube from Canadian Solar is lithium iron phosphate. Franklin Whole Home Battery, that's lithium iron phosphate. Majority of the industry has transitioned away from lithium ion and moved to lithium iron phosphate because of the safety and reliability of the chemistry. You can literally sit there and drill holes in it. Zonin has done demonstrations of that with their batteries. They were one of the first, I believe, to, to market with an LFP battery. With the Tesla Powerwall Plus, you know, I feel comfortable being able to offer that to our customers moving forward. And you can actually request a quote down below by using the link. We have a great page that kind of covers some of the details on the Powerwall Plus so you can learn a little bit more before you request your quote. And if you're interested, we can give you all three options. Here's your Enphase system, here's that Powerwall Plus, here's the EP Cube. So you can decide which one's better for your situation. Are you focused on saving the most money, getting the best battery you can? Are you focused on, you know, getting the best solar technology you can? Or are you trying to get something in the middle of the road? Either way, we are broadly certified so that way we can help you get whatever works best for your particular application. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be comparing the Powerwall Plus to the other battery solutions that we offer over the next coming weeks. So that way you're really well versed in terms of this technology moving forward under the solar billing program. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.